Zuma was hospitalized the weekend before his corruption trial was due to start. And at the time, his doctor said, the doctor's note said that he has a traumatic injury. And as you said, he is receiving extensive surgery and emergency treatment, his doctor said. And his life was at risk, according to the sick note. But the court was not convinced, and they wanted Zuma's legal representatives to submit a more detailed medical record by the 20th of August. And they have not now done so, which has led to him being placed on medical parole indefinitely. So he's only spent two months of his 15-month jail term in prison. I mean, it's clear that Jacob Zuma is expected in court later this week on Thursday, I believe. This is... Uh presumably going to complicate the situation. Yes, what happened the last time when Zuma was due to appear in this corruption trial, the trial was postponed because he was in hospital and he could not appear um, at the time in person and he refuses to proceed virtually. He prefers to be present physically for his trial. So that means that now being placed on medical parole, it doesn't look like, or the chances are very slim, that he will actually be fit to appear in court on Thursday. And we can expect another postponement. Or the prosecution has previously hinted at requesting an independent medical examination. So that medical, this medical report could actually lead to a trial within a trial. And but Zuma's spokesperson has already indicated that Zuma wants to refuse a second medical examination. So that's what we're waiting for. The state might request an independent medical examination to confirm these um, the medical records that we've received from the corrective uh, facilities.